<laughs> I don't know if y'all remember a few episodes back, but we had our beautiful Tundra that we put the 2021 front end on. That was, that's my daily driver right now. We entered that sucker into the Copart Rebuild Challenge. We'll put the link down below, but you can go there and vote and maybe we'll win. We made the finals. Our truck is on there. It's a white Toyota Tundra. We'll leave the link down below. You can vote one time every day. We would appreciate it. It'd really help us out. We gotta clean it. It's been a minute since this has been cleaned up. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you know where this goes? What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're finally gonna address the elephant in the room. And the elephant is a big elephant. This is a 1983 Toyota pickup truck. It's been sitting here at this shop for a long, long time. I know for a fact that it's been here for over four years. I've saw it with my own eyes in and out of this shop. This sucker's been sitting here for four and a half years. So we wanna buy it. We want to try to buy it. Maybe we can buy it. Hopefully we can buy it. That's our plan. We want to buy it. We want to try to buy it. It's a little bit rough. We thought we'd try to get it running, share it with you, see what y'all think. If you want us to buy one or maybe build one like it, that's what we're going to do. So let's see if we can get this sucker running. Look at that, 22R. That's what this thing's got. 22R with four barrel carburetor. Y'all ever see a 22R that looks like this? Check that oil there, see what it looks like. But it, it's, you think it's got gas in it? I need a rag, uh, I don't know. You need a rag. Yeah, a rag. To... Well, you know, we got a little bit of everything in here, but maybe a rag might not be in what we got. So this thing is pretty nice. It's a small block Chevrolet V8, it looks like. I see an Edelbrock intake. I don't know, we're gonna check that carburetor out. So how's that oil looking now? Oh, that's good. That looks like fresh oil. We're gonna take off this we're gonna take off this carburetor air filter breather as they say on these little V8s. We're gonna see what the carburetor looks like. And maybe we'll try to get this sucker running. It's been sitting inside. I'm I'm sure it'd fire right up. Don't you think it's gonna fire right up? No, no, I don't. So does that look look like it maybe a Rochester, a Holly? Can you tell? Maybe a Holly. Maybe an Edelbrock. <laughs> okay. I don't know what it is just yet. I hadn't got up in there. There's our distributor back there in the back. Hopefully that's a HEI. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since this thing ran. I've never heard it run. Really like the truck. I know a bunch of y'all saw it on the channel a bunch of times. Toyota pickup, four wheel drive. Big old 35 inch tires. 35, 15, 50s, 50s right? Yep. Neato's about $500 a tire. Look at those. Look at them mud daubers. It was about a 12 inch lift. We got to see if it'll run. So we found a jump box. So it looks like the bed, if we look here, the bed's a little bit loose, but they relocated the battery back here in the back. 
may have contributed to the bed being loose. I don't know, but that bed's gonna have to be replaced. If you can even find a bed for this thing. Check out underneath of this thing. Look at that. Look at that humongous drive shaft. That thing is hum. Do you see that thing, dude? I don't Do know you how you can miss it. Look at that. And then look, look at these. You know, I'd say if you rip this thing around for just a minute, you might rip that drive shaft out. But look at this. This is at least a 12 inch. I don't know. It's got Rancho suspension. It's got some big old blocks, I'll tell you that. And then the shackles. And then the frame rail is just a little bit. It's got a little surface rust. That that stuff, would, you could hit that with a wheel, that'd come right out. I mean, this thing is a beast of a truck. But anyway, back to what we were trying to do. I mean, I don't know what to do to you, but just to hook the dang thing to it. Hook it up, see if it cranks, that's see if it, it turns it. over. That's what I'm thinking we gotta do. See what blows up. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> I mean, this is, this says it's an 88. We know that's not an 88. This battery may have been here since 88, but this is not an 88. All right, ready for the sparks? Ready. Did you see any? Didn't see nothing, nothing that's blew not up. not a good sign. So I think what we need to do, why don't you, why don't you jump up in the cab? We already checked the oil, we already checked the water. We checked everything there. We got the battery hooked up. We got some juice. Let's see so you jump up in the cab, See if we got any power. So jump on up in there. See if we got any juice Ooh. at all. Roll bar falls off. Any kind of juice whatsoever? Oh, yep, we got juice. All right, hang on, hang on. So we're gonna hit it. We're gonna hit a little bit. So, uh, did you find a fire extinguisher? Like maybe we should get our hands on one of those. Oh. All right, let's just, is it in park? I think so. All right, see, see, if it'll, see if it'll turn over. Don't try to, just see if it'll turn over. Oh, come on. Oh! <laughs> All right, here we go, you ready? Yeah. Hang on. Okay, try it. All right, hang on, hang on. I think we run out of juice. Come on down from there. Let's go commandeer some battery. This crap ain't gonna work without one. So let's go commandeer one. All right, let's go. Check out our rig there. You out? Out. Dang it. We had two of them, it took two of them to get it just turning over. But that's, it's turned over. Hey, it turned over, it's gonna run. It's, it was, it's gonna run. It, it, it wake you from the slumber. But we're gonna go, we're gonna go find us a battery. I got, I saw one in this shop the other day. I think I know where one is. We're gonna see if we can get it. We're gonna put it on there and then we're gonna fire that sucker up because the jump box is making it turn over. But we need, we had to put two of them on it and the little lithium one, it just wouldn't keep up. I think I know where a battery is. try this one. Is that you singing or what? <laughs> I wish it was. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know my country music, but that, that's what we need. I think that battery's gonna get us going. I got a little dirt on my shirt, but that's all right. We're gonna go in here. We're gonna put this new battery on, get it all fired up. This truck's gonna run. We're gonna awaken this beast and see what it sounds like. I did see a couple of cherry bombs under there too. So hopefully she fires up here. But we get to buy it. And if nothing else, I hope we get to hear it run. Just <laughs> once it got here. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. And ah, phooey. What attempt are we on? Uh, I'd say about 15, maybe. Maybe we're going 15. 
we're gonna go we're gonna have to steal a good battery to accomplish this we gotta have the juice and we gotta have the bolts we gotta get the bolts we gotta get the battery our battery's no good we need the amps to get this sucker started so we've completely exhausted two jump boxes trying to get it started so gotta have some power Boink. so we have completely stole this battery it has been stolen they don't need it and we do and i think this battery is about too big for this truck like this is supposed to be like a group 24 and this is not a 24. You see the bed if I fell off. <laughs> and then this one probably ain't gonna do it. I hope it does. That's a legend. Did the hard part with the battery. All right, we're coming up on attempt number 17 to get this sucker started. Come on, baby, let's start. Yeah, just keep like pumping the gas. I don't think we got no gas. I wonder if that's got like a switch in there for a fuel pump. It's got a bunch of switches that ain't got no names. It's got a, ga a pressure gauge. Yeah. But I don't know. Well, it might be that it's just got electric fuel pump and we gotta turn that sucker on. So how about that? Man, that thing sounded good. God, that purrs like a kitten. I hope this guy decides to sell this thing to us because we're gonna turn it into something. Absolutely amazing. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the hottest item around here. But what if he don't? We'll just have to find something like it, because I want one now. Man, that V8, I I don't know, I think it might be a 350. It's kind of hard to tell, you really can't see, but gosh, we got this shop all smoked up. So what do you think about it? I like it a lot, man. This thing been sitting for years and all it took was a battery and the flip of a switch and it runs like it ain't, like it's been cranked every day. Can we get it out of here? I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's got any brakes. No brakes. I'm put, it's, it's to the floor, no no resistance. Yeah, these old ones, you always gotta rebuild the brakes. Well, yeah. We got some big tires, we'll, we'll roll it out. <laughs> We gotta get this truck, man. Really we gotta get it. We gotta get it. I've already been in contact with him. He's a little bit reluctant to sell it. Imagine, so imagine pulling this into the Walmart parking lot to get some groceries. How much would she how much is it worth? How much should we offer the guy? What's it gonna take to get him to turn loose of it? Comment below and let us know. Cause I think he might sell it if we offer him enough money but we don't want to just buy it to be buying it. We got to do something with it. We can't just unload a ton of cash. So now that we got to run, we got to see if it moves. I want this thing to move. I want to get it outside. I want to take it for a drive. So we're going to try to see if we can get it to move.
excited guys this sucker is alive this video is a little bit different we didn't really know how to go about getting this sucker running we knew it needed spark we knew it needed gas we knew it needed those two things we finally got it the gas is a little bit dead the carburetor is a little bit flooded but we got it out here it made us want it that much more we hope that this guy decides to sell it to us because if he don't i can promise you it's just going to sit here until he comes and gets it. it's been sitting here for almost five years now but check this sucker out he does have that small block chevrolet v8 i'm not sure i think it's probably a 350. don't know anything about it how it was built don't know anything about the carburetor just yet it's been here all that time we've never really looked at it it's always been the elephant in the room it just kind of stood over there nobody ever talked about it but look at this thing man it's got these big nerf bars these tires the tires are brand new and i know the tires are probably worth two thousand dollars so i know two thousand wouldn't buy it but it is super super heavy duty don't know if the four-wheel drive works the body is in the bed's in terrible shape the cab i don't know it's not too bad we can't even get this door open we have to go dukes of hazard general lee on this thing but it looks i mean it looks like it could be something amazing if for nothing else we could take this thing out to a field to a mud bog and see what it would do i honestly think it'd be pretty easy to turn over if you try to climb much of a rock with it but out in a mud bog it'd be a lot of fun and what do y'all think about this truck so this thing comes with some glass packs some cherry bombs it sounds really really good you heard it when we cranked it up there first time and blew the sud out of it brakes need a little work yeah brakes are almost not even there i mean you gotta you gotta go push it through the floorboard to get it to stop i'm sure all the gas is dead we need to just probably just drain it all out and get some good some good 93 octane or something in it and run through it see what that carburetor needs we don't even know if it's going to shift right no this is probably the worst side if you're looking at the bed because like, like we showed you it's, it's rusted really bad in the back here where the battery hooks up probably probably come from the battery right there yeah. more than likely but if you look right here it's got seat covers on it but check out that Gosh, check out them man. nice seats look at that and that's that is oem that's almost brand new I wonder if the floor pan is rusted out. I feel some rust right here. Oh, not too bad. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Not bad. So what do you think? You want to try to get it fired back up and get it put up and yeah, see where the road takes us? Yeah, maybe he'll, maybe he'll sell it. It'd be nice to take it through the mountains. Maybe fix them lights on top. I saw all those switches for those KCs in yeah. there. Yeah, I mean, it's already a nice truck. What would you do the first thing? <laughs> I don't know, what would you do? I'd probably fix the driver's door where I could get in and out of it. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> think about that. <laughs> well, i tell you what, we're gonna fire this thing up. We're gonna blow the sud out of it one more time. We're gonna put it back in the shop and hopefully JP or nobody knows that we got it out and played with it. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna message the guy to see if he'll sell it to us and hopefully will. He watches our videos all the time. We do appreciate y'all watching them too. So let's, let's see if we can get this thing on back in here. guys just like that we took this sucker for a drive not a long drive i'd love to take it for a real drive but until this guy decides to sell it to us what do you think how you feeling about it how much would you pay i really want it i'd probably pay five thousand for this Sheesh, thing that's a lot it's a lot it's probably it's worth a, it it's a it's a hidden gem it might be worth it i don't know i don't know if he'll take it but you know what we work with toyotas all the time 
it would be easy enough for us to buy us a truck and then buy us like a newer model Chevrolet or something like that that had the motor and the transmission and the transfer case and all that. We could buy one wrecked. We could put everything over, maybe even do away with the carburetor, put some electronic mm -hmm. ignition on it, or maybe get with Holly or somebody like that and get one of these modern tunes for this thing. Yeah, I really like this truck. <laughs> I really like this one. We're glad, we're glad that we got it out. We're glad we got it to run. I'm gonna text the guy again. Maybe I'm gonna call him, see what he says. But I think that might be a wrap for this video. Hopefully, it's not the last one on this truck. Hopefully, the elephant in the room becomes our elephant. That's what we're hoping for. Don't forget, follow us on Instagram, at Real Orange Wires. We always post there before YouTube. May have some exciting news about this on there before we post it on YouTube. So be sure to follow there. I tell you what, guys. I don't know if y'all remember a few episodes back, but we had our beautiful Tundra that we put the 2021 front end on. That was, that's my daily driver right now. We entered that sucker into the Copart Rebuild Challenge. We'll put the link down below, but you can go there and vote and maybe we'll win. We made the finals. Our truck is on there. It's a white Toyota Tundra. We'll leave the link down below. You can vote one time every day. We would appreciate it. It'd really help us out. Maybe get us a little bit of cash to buy a truck like this. If you like videos like this, drop us a like. Leave a comment down below. Until next time, we're out.